In this short video, you will learn how to edit an in-text citation while using the cite while you write function in a Word document with EndNotes. Currently, I have APA 6 selected, and here is my first citation in my Word document. And I don't want these commas here. So after the et al, it's period comma. However, once I click inside the citation, it is grayed out. So I know I cannot hit backspace or delete because that is going to begin corrupting my Word document. You never want to make changes in Word for this. You always want to head into EndNote. So I'm going to go into EndNote Desktop. First, you need to make sure you have selected the style you want to edit within EndNote. So right now I have radiology, but I want to make sure I have selected APA 6. So that's step one. And then go to edit up at the top. Click output styles and then click edit APA 6. Over on the left hand side, we see citations and then templates. You want to click on templates. And then we see author and the comma. So I wanted to get rid of the comma. I'm going to put my cursor inside of the citation and I'm going to delete the comma. When I'm ready, going back to file and save as. So this time again, it gives me AK6 copy and I wanna keep that word copy because I don't want to um, edit and overhaul the normal regular APA 6 output style. So you can keep copy. I prefer to um, change it and maybe give it something more specific so I know what is different about this output style. And I'm just going to say no comma. You could also title it um, example or maybe today's date, whatever is going to connect with you and make sense to you. And now I click save. I'm going to exit out, go back into Word, and I'm going to click on output styles, select another style because I don't see APA 6 no comma here. And then I'm going to start typing APA, and then we see here APA 6 no comma, the one I just saved. So I select it, click OK. And now we can see in my citations, it's only a period. There are no commas here. If I had like saved that output style as APA 6 and overhauled the normal output style, it's not that big of a deal. It's OK because you can always go back into EndNote.com and download the original output style again. Because as we witnessed when we downloaded the radiology, uh, output style, it was super easy, and so you can do that again if you accidentally save it as the original output style. So I am now going to show you another citation change that is a pretty common ask. So I'm going to change it from APA 6 to JAMA. And we see um, how it has the small superscript numbers here, 1 through 3, and then over here, 4 and 5. So what if I want to change it from superscript to a average number lettering? So I'm not going to make the changes in Word. I am going to go back into EndNote Desktop. I'm going to change it here from APA 6 to JAMA. And then I'm going to go to the same place. I'm going to go Edit up at the top, Output Styles, Edit JAMA. We see citations, and then I'm going to click on templates on the left-hand side. And then we can see how it says bibliography number, and it's in that small uh, font size that the superscript was in. And even when I click inside this box, we see the superscript icon has been um, grayed out. So I need to highlight everything here and I'm going to click on the superscript icon. By doing so, now it is in regular size font. And maybe I also want parentheses around these numbers. I can do that just by adding them in. 
now that I have made the edits, I'm going back to file, save as, and it's giving me JAMA copy. I'm just going to change that to example, click save so that I'm not altering the original JAMA. Save, exit out, head back into Word, and then click on the drop down menu for output styles. Select another style, and I'm going to type in JAMA, and then we see the one I just saved, JAMA example. Click OK. And now the citations have moved from superscript to normal font size with the parentheses. If you have any EndNote questions, please contact the Research Medical Library at rml-help at mdanderson.org.